There we go, and a very good evening to you all. How are you all doing? It's, uh, oh, it's incredible. Week 13. And there's 84 of you on already. That's incredible. How are you all doing? You all good? Oh, let's have a look. Who we got in? It's right from the very, very top. Apologies about the late intro there. Um, I spent five minutes performing to myself. I didn't press the go live button at the top, so I spent... I was seeing your comments, I was playing a song, and then it occurred to me that uh, I wasn't actually doing anything. So, apologies, but uh, technical problems. You'd think I'd be good at this by now, wouldn't you? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, who we got? Ken, Matthew, Roger, Paul, Graham, David, Kathy, Mick, my fan club Angie, Andy, Ramon, Mike. Tom, oh, it's fantastic to see so many of you watching tonight already. Absolutely brilliant. But, uh, yes, it is absolutely incredible. But, uh, oh, it's so, there's so many. I'm going to always right down to the bottom. <laughs> I've missed a load of comments already. It's incredible. But, uh, anyway, what have I got to tell you? Um, I've got to tell you a couple of things. Firstly, those of you who haven't seen it, my band's album, Live in the Netherlands, by the Wannabe Shadows, is out now, officially on my website. Just £8, including free UK delivery. And uh, there's 15 tracks on there. There's, uh, I think we've got two, two Shadows instrumentals and lots of vocals and stuff with my, uh, my guitar work and stuff on it. So, there you go. So if you haven't seen it and you want a copy, very limited copies available. So www.stevereynolds.co.uk is where to get it. There you go. Okay. Uh, right. What have we got? <laughs> uh, Ryan, are there any songs you don't like playing but have to keep them in the set because uh, they're people's favourites? Um, I don't think so, really, Ryan, to be honest. Um, no, a lot of the songs are just... They're just... I enjoyed playing most of them, to be honest. Um, I suppose "Man of Mystery" is one that we still have to. I've still got to learn because um, a lot of people do have asked for it, but I just find it a very challenging song. Um, but uh, one day, one day we'll do that. But, uh, oh, excellent, Kathy and Keith, your CDs arrived. What did, What did you think? Comments, good or bad? Well, hopefully good. But uh, <laughs> as I say, it was a live recording, so uh, mistakes and everything were left in. But uh... anyway, let's do this next song. Bit of shindig.
go, a little bit of shindig. Great, great song. But uh, oh, let's have a look. Got lots of comments coming in at the moment. Uh, Graham, if you can play Apache, could you dedicate it to yourself and my friend Derek in Cruden Bay? I've been seriously all for eight weeks. Wow, sorry to hear that, Graham. Um, hope you're uh, hope you're doing okay and on the on the way to recovery there. And so it's a it's a very interesting time at the moment with everything going on. It makes uh, makes everything a lot harder, unfortunately. But, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll do this for you now. I normally do this later on, but uh, I'll do it for you now. The song that started it all off, just for you, Graham. This is Apache. Graham, just for you that one. But uh, right, let's have a look at some of these other comments, guys. Stacks of them. Wow, I've probably missed some, so I apologise if I have. But uh, I'm just gonna have to tune up quickly because I think I've got a flat A string, and it's never good to have a flat A string. I'll just check everything else, just in case. <coughs> That good. <coughs> oh, you have to bear with me. But unfortunately, I've got a little bit of a tickle in my throat this last couple of uh, last couple of weeks. It's uh, Ernest. I use um, patch the Argentina patch, which I think is a Roland RE three hundred one patch, um, and it basically sounds like that. But uh, I just think it's a great patch. It works for everything. I use it for Apache. Not quite the right patch, but you know it works for me. Um, but uh, there we go. But, uh, 
Hank Marvin's pad in Perth is now a B and B. Wow, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? But uh, God, that's the dream. One day I, I do have to go to uh, do have to go to Australia one day. But uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, James, no, sorry to hear that. That's not uh, that's sad. There's going to be a lot of people going to uh, going abroad in the UK, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm glad that things are opening on the fourth of July, from what I see. So I'm uh, hoping to uh, sort of head to down to Clacton and uh, do some of uh, do some relaxing. Unfortunately, living in a flat and living in my own for the last five months, it's been uh, it's been a tough time. But uh, yeah, it's, we're, we're getting there and. Uh, uh, let's have a quick look. Um, God, it's a lot of comments. Apologies about this. I'm gonna <laughs> uh, Keith. Um, I didn't use an AC30 for that recording. No, it was an AC15. Um, that was the um, everyone basically used the the same amp. So uh, I just plugged into it. And I think I had my Hall and Collins for that album. But uh, it was good. Uh, really good gig. We're hoping to go back out to Tilburg um, in April of next year. Fingers crossed. So. Um, Trouble, how would you set up live on stage with just backing tracks, separate guitar amps for guitar and backing tracks? Uh, to your honest, Trouble, I probably do, um, what I've done in the past is just use my Zoom G3X with something like a Joy Oasis tone or the Katana, um, and then plug into a PA system and then use the backing tracks through the PA system as well and just combine it all together. So I hope that, uh, hope that helps. Uh, Josh, my first guitar was uh, an Encore, very, very cheap Encore guitar. Um, wasn't, uh, was was actually quite nasty really, it was a very thin body and stuff, had one little humbucker, no tremolo or anything, but uh, I think it came from Argos, but uh, you know, that world famous guitar, <laughs> guitar centre shop. <laughs> anyway, let's have another song. And I know you all like this one, so I'm going to do it for you all. I think Josh has requested this a few times. So this is Tuesday night at the Reynolds household, alternatively known as Saturday night at the Duck Pond.
there we go a little bit of saturday night at the duck pond that's a brilliant song isn't it they don't make them like that anymore it's, uh... <laughs> wow julie you've got one of me going cheap can i can i buy me please i'll, I'll buy me because um i could do with another me around the house it's uh <laughs> It's, uh, it's handy having someone like me around, especially when you're trying to be annoying and stuff. But uh... <laughs> oh, Angie, lovely to see you again. Miss, must admit we missed you on the uh, on the Sunday night one on Facebook. But uh, 150 pounds, Julie, absolutely. I'd pay that for a version of me. I really would. Some women don't know how lucky they are. <laughs> Oh, Engelbert! Wow, trouble you are taking uh, taking me back some. I've not played an Engelbert song for a long time. Oh, SpongeBob! I can't do that for you tonight, Paul. But there's no reason why that can't be arranged in a, in the not too distant future. Um, but, uh, I know, Mandy. A lot of ladies would pay a lot of money for for that. But uh, until I find them, <laughs> I'll have to buy it myself. <laughs> but. Uh, Right, what should we do? Let's do, yeah, let's do self, uh, no, let's do The Stranger. I know uh, uh, Poppy's asked for this a couple of times, and uh, I know she likes this one, so this is just for you, Poppy. We go a little bit of the stranger there but, uh, oh julie i think if i signed it it would have gone down in price but uh do you know what? i remember the first time i got um i did a gig uh i can't remember where it was now and someone asked me for a photograph and if i could sign the program or the poster thing we had and you know what? i was a bit taken aback by that because uh I, again i just thought to myself wow I, why? <laughs> why why would you want a photo taken with, uh, I suppose, well, I can think why they probably wanted a photo taken next to me. They probably wanted to look better in their own, in their own ways. But uh, 
Oh, Andy, yes, the iPad cover is absolutely ruined. I've had this, I've had this iPad since 2012, I think, and I've had the cover the same length of time. So it's been used, it's been thrown around at gigs, um, it's it's done a lot of stuff. But uh, oh, Cliff, C Cricket Back Boogie, that's a brilliant song. Um, I really need to do that one. Um, there's a lot of songs I need to catch up on and do because some of them are just absolutely brilliant. Um, but, uh, Justin Daish does a fabulous version of that on YouTube. But, uh, I will I will do it one day, I promise. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, so how are you all doing anyway in week 13 of lockdown? It's, uh, it's incredible where it's gone, isn't it? It's... Uh, Unfortunately, though, I have a bit of bad news for you, or bad news for you, it might not be, it depends on, on your view. Um, next week, week 14, is going to be the last uh, lockdown live stream for a Tuesday night, um, unfortunately. But that's not to say they won't happen again at some point. They just won't be every week on a regular basis like they have been. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a bit of a, some time off and... Uh, Sort of rediscover some of the old shadow songs and stuff, and uh, and do a few different things. But uh, so there we go. But uh, right, I'm going to play another song. What am I going to play? Yes, I'm going to play "In My Life" by the Beatles, and dedicate this to my sister-in-law. Let's find the patch. Where's it gone? Uh, there it is. warm evening tonight it's uh it's i've got the fan going and the door open and everything and uh it's still very very warm but, uh, it's okay though honestly all you there's still next week <laughs> it's still next week's one yet but uh i will i'll give you at least 24 hours notice before i'm going to do a live stream but uh once things start opening up and stuff again it's uh you know there's going to be sort of normal work and stuff going on and uh Hopefully some gigs coming back again, which would be good. Um, I know we've got potentially a car show in August in Clacton to do, which would be wonderful. But uh, 
Oh, Andy, I've done that one. I've, uh, I already did uh, ferry across the Mersey, I think, some time ago now. But, uh, but uh, and so it's been incredible. It's been 14, as well, next week will be 14 weeks. And that's been two shows a week. So, uh, yes, it's been, it's been good fun, really good fun. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think we've raised... <laughs> It's been like, uh, I think we've raised something like £400 now for St Francis Hospice, which has been amazing. Um, so it, your support has been really appreciated. Honestly, I do really appreciate it. And uh, you've, you've given me something to do with... Uh... <laughs> uh, what type of burns did Hank play? Um, the Dream was based on that model. Um, the guitar Hank actually played was called a Burns Marvin which was actually it's basically the same guitar but his was a white one and um, he basically designed it with Jim Burns and Burns produced it I think in 1964 and it was made till about 66, 67 and then it was reissued in about 2004 as a special edition but uh, so yeah, hope, uh, hope that answers your question. The Dream is based on it, but it's it's a more modern um, version. It's got noiseless pickups, um, slightly different, obviously, colours and stuff. But uh, there we go. Right. Are you ready for a sing-along? No, let's, let's not have the sing-along just yet. Let's have... Uh, someone's just asked for it. Where's it gone? For, for Wonderful Land. It's, uh, ah, Tom, there we are. Here you go, a bit of wonderful land. See if I can play it right. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous song that is, but uh, I do believe we're about to go hit um, 100 viewers again, which uh, is incredible. But, uh... <laughs> oh, I know that, uh, know that feeling, David. It's uh, it, it feels weird, doesn't it? Starting to get back to some normality with everything going on and stuff. But uh, it, thankfully, it looks looks like we are coming out of the woods now, and. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we we've lost a few people along the way, but uh, fingers crossed we can we can get to back to some normality and and live life again. But uh, anyway, 
Let's have a yeah. Go on then, Josh. I'll do this one as you like it. Um, let's have a look. Oh, what we got? Oh yes, absolutely, Michael. I was playing the Atlantis patch there, I think. But uh, <laughs> but uh, oh no, Les, that's a bit a uh, bit of a shame. Uh, Yes, I, my my Burns dream is uh, might be being sold. Actually, I've had uh, had a couple of people asking me about the Burns dream, so it might uh, it might go for sale. Um, partly because I I don't use it um, as much as I probably should, and it's a bit of a waste, really. But uh, it's uh, <laughs> evening, Brian. Hope you're good. Yes, I know the states are, uh, are are suffering really badly with COVID, aren't they? At the moment, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of other countries that are going really, really badly. Thank, so thankfully, hopefully, touch wood and everything, we're uh, we're certainly coming out of the out the other end now. But uh, it's it's a strange, strange time. But uh, anyway, while we've got music to keep us going, we can uh, we can get us through, can't it? Uh, here we go, a little bit of Telstar. go a bit of Telstar it, uh, oh Jeff you're too kind although your comment about oops sorry to rub it in Mandy seems to have been uh, has been held for review for some reason <laughs> I'm guessing it's because you've said about rubbing it in um, it obviously took that completely out of context <laughs> it, uh, 
But, uh, oh, yeah, Julie, do you know what? Um, that was one of the big considerations I was thinking about when we were doing the, talking about doing the CD, because a lot of people don't, um, don't necessarily have CD players. Um, I mean, I've got a, a PlayStation, and I, I play CDs and stuff through there, but other than that, it's the PC. Um, so I must admit, we did think about doing it as a download, but uh, I, I don't know, for, for me, I just, I suppose for, for some of you people who are, are slightly older as well, um, that, I mean, I remember when my dad had the vinyls. Um, I remember that we went everywhere to get the Elvis, one of the Elvis albums was on pink vinyl. It was a special edition one. And I remember just pouring over the, the sort of, the package and everything and just being amazed with the pictures and stuff. And so even on Hank's um, albums and stuff, you know, the, the liner notes with pictures of Hank's guitars and stuff. To me, that was, that was part of the experience. You know, the music was great, obviously, but it, to me, it was just that, that part of that, that thing. You just don't get that with a digital download, of course. But uh, yes, it's good fun. But yes, I might do it as a digital download for a bit cheaper. Um, but uh, keep, keep an eye on the website. Um, if anyone's interested, by the way, um, I have bought a batch of these picks. Um, George Dennis 1.05s, and I am selling them through my website if anyone wants them. Um, they work out, including postage and stuff, about a pound each. So a little bit expensive, but they are really, really good picks. I love them. Um, I've tried numerous others, and I keep coming back to these. So I will be sticking with these. <laughs> but if anyone wants them, they're on my website, which is www.stevereynolds.co.uk, or wherever the... I'm sure I've put a link on the page once before, but never mind. <clears throat> anyway... What should we do next? Uh, someone asked for... Um, Philip, absolutely. Um, this was, believe it or not, this did have that mint green... Um, I think, I can't remember if it had the pick guard on it, but it certainly had the pickup covers. And I don't like that to me. To me, this colour strap should have the white pick guard. Um, and so I changed all this. Um, not long after I received it and fitted all white stuff, but of course it is going back to how it how it is. Um, but you know, never never mind. <laughs> but uh, oh, do you know what, Michael? I looked into doing vinyl for the CDs, even just for a special run of them, and they were, were going to get them done all set up. They were going to be about forty pounds each. Um, and it was just crazy money, so we, we didn't didn't really run with it. But you know, the CDs are really really good. Um, as I say, they're uh, you know just just here if anyone's interested. <laughs> Excuse me, tickle with my throat again. It's, uh... Oh wow, okay. Oh, do you know what, Liz? Funnily enough, I was actually looking at buying one of the new fifties strats, um, the Squire Classic Vibe in. The Fiesta Red with gold hardware, but uh, I still might and just see what they're like. But um, Andy, did I miss a comment from you? Um, who sung lead vocal on Guardian Angel? I don't know. I don't even know if I've heard that song actually. Yes, yeah, so they'd make it good earrings, Mandy, wouldn't they? Or necklace, I suppose you could make. But uh, if you're that way inclined. <laughs> anyway, let's have. Uh, Oh, you're being you're being confrontational there, Cliff. <laughs> now I must admit, I I don't like um, only on a white guitar would I like the off um, the mint green sort of colour. To me, on a Fiesta Red and stuff, it's, it needs to be needs to be white, I think. But uh, <laughs> anyway, oh, I digress. We're getting sidetracked here. But uh, right, let's do this one. This is a beautiful song. And it's from a film called The Deer Hunter. And this is a beautiful song called Cavatina.
was a bit loud, wasn't it? But, uh, <laughs> but uh, there we go. Oh, theme from a filleted place. That's a brilliant, uh, brilliant song, isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> I'd love to, uh, love to do that one. But uh, I don't know if I've ever even done that one. I can't remember. Um, Bob. I read very occasionally from tabs, depending on the song. Um, yeah, it really depends, really. But uh, for for that one, I had to. But most of the time, I do them with without it. Uh, it just some I just don't uh, don't seem to st stick in, unfortunately. But uh, uh, I can't believe that uh, Philip the pickups on the new Squire fifties. I'm surprised at that. Um, Yeah, I must admit, I, I thought they would be the same as, as this. And so this is a fantastic guitar, and this is, apart from the block and the plastics on it, it the rest of it's all sort of standard, so um, that's surprising. I, I might order one and have a look. Um, but I suppose if I, w if I didn't have them, I mean, my Alan Brayson Strat has got... Um, Seymour Duncan antiquity pickups in it. Um, a set of Tone Rider pickups would be more than adequate. Fender Custom Shop 54s would be more than adequate. Um, the problem is when you start putting that sort of money into one of those guitars, you end up in sort of the Mexican range, really, price-wise. And then you might as well just buy one of buy one of those, really. But, uh, anyway, <clears throat> let's do another song. I'm going to dedicate this, I normally do this to uh, dedicate this to Mandy, but I'm going to dedicate this to my entire fan club tonight, because you are all wonderful, wonderful people, and uh, I appreciate every single part of your, uh, every single comment and like and various, you've you've helped me through lockdown as someone that's uh, living on their own and stuff, but uh, there we go. So you all look wonderful tonight.
go. Beautiful, beautiful song dedicated to every single one of you. That's, uh... <laughs> anyway, and also I'll dedicate this to all of uh, all of you as well. All of you wonderful people under the age of 82. song don't make them like that anymore I mentioned it on the uh, on the show I did on Facebook on Sunday night but uh, that song and summer holiday I mean they really were it's just a different time weren't they when you go back to the late 50s the early 60s um, I, th I think I said it the other night even with the you know JFK shooting and the Cuban Missile Crisis and everything it the world just seems a better place back then um, I I'm, I'm gutted I never lived through that period, I really am, but uh, never mind. <laughs> 
Uh, Paul, no upgrades planned for this Strat at all. Um, it's done well over 100 gigs now. Um, it's a great guitar, never gets touched. Just gets cleaned and restrung every now and then. And uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to leave this exactly as it is. Um, <laughs> but uh, oh yes, Jeff, absolutely. Gary Taylor is uh, one of the TBS three who make a very expensive echo unit, which uh, is one of the best echo unit. Pro well, I say one of the best. It is the best echo unit in my opinion for modern day. But I think it's about three thousand um, pounds. But uh, very good unit. Um, do I still use the Blue Nebula or am I just using the Zoom at home and the HS Hall & Collins Live? Um, <clears throat> I haven't had a Hall & Collins probably for about two years now. Uh, I have had two of them, I thought they were great units. Um, but in my opinion they were just too expensive and too limited for what I do. The Zoom um, has a volume pedal, tuner, I can use it here, or I can do lots of stuff with it. Um, I can program in other patches and stuff if I want to as well. Um, so I just tend to use that all the time now, pretty much. Um, this whole rig is a £300 guitar, £120 echo unit, and a £150 amplifier, which is a Boss Katana. So there we go. Oh man, yeah, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? A pool party. I, I need a pool party. Definitely. If ever I won the lottery, I'm buying a massive, massive house with a swimming pool. I love swimming. I'm not the strongest swimmer, but something about just being in the swimming pool is just amazing. But, uh, I can imagine, Graham, absolutely. There was, a, I've, I imagine that was a very scary time, the Cuban Missile Crisis. I often watched documentaries on it, and uh, they, uh, some of you may know, I'm, I'm a bit of an aircraft fan as well, so the Vulcan and the Victor and the Valiant um, and all of that sort of stuff. I often watch the documentaries on the Cuban Missile Crisis, so I can imagine it was a petrifying time, but uh, at least you knew what you were dealing with back then, unfortunately. You don't seem to... Uh, seem to un it's a difficult, it's a really strange world at the moment. It's a bit a bit all over the place, isn't it? But, uh, oh, wow, so many questions. Um, Sandor, evening, hope you're doing well. Um, oh, do you know what, Keith, I, I, I get this all from my dad, really. Um, my dear old dad was born in 44, so uh, he would have been 70... Mine's got blank, 76 this year. Um, but, uh, you know, he lived through that, that stage. He was 16, pretty much, when the shadows hit, hit the... He was, he was just in that that five year gap for the, the Shadows and Cliff and he was a big Cliff and Billy Fury fan and, and like myself he um, was big, didn't really take to the Beatles in quite the same way um, I mean I love the Beatles very early stuff you know please please me love me do all that sort of stuff but uh, I, I wasn't a fan of their later stuff and the drug taking and stuff like that but uh, Oh yeah, absolutely, Paul. Uh, this, again, there's something about that era, isn't there, from the, the 50s, 60s. I mean, I, I love um, pretty much everything from that era. I love the music, I love the cars. I've got some classic cars of my own as well. Um, I've just, I, I love that era. But, uh, <laughs> uh, do I use reverb on the AC30 whilst on stage? No, I don't, uh, Andy, to be honest. Um, I, the, with the echoes and stuff, it tends to give quite an airy ambience to it anyway so uh, there we go uh, do I play bass guitar no Josh I wish I could um, I, I love some of the bass lines in some of the shadows tracks but, uh, um, where we got coins going up so quick I'm missing them <laughs> uh, right yes yeah, so I must do this actually um, someone's asked for this so this is course the reason why we're all here um, why this all started was uh, to keep us occupied during the pandemic and uh, do this song and I dedicate this to all the nurses and the care workers and I use the uh, Argentina patch whenever I play this song just because it again it just gives a nice airy sort of ambience around uh, around the song so dedicated to all our key workers here we go
fabulous, fabulous song that one. But uh, oh, I'm just gonna. I think one of my uh, one of my earphone pieces have just fallen apart. I don't know what's happened there. But, uh, see if I can repair that again. Otherwise, I might have to go and grab the other ones. But uh, I'm using these in ear monitors from KZST or something. I think they're called. But uh, really really cheap but they, they do really really good job they just sit in your ear and I, I hate wearing the overhead phones and stuff it's just uh, just frustrating isn't it but uh, <laughs> never mind anyway I've got a song to do for Kathy when I find it um, I haven't managed to f I couldn't find the tabs for that other one you mentioned Kathy and I'll, I will do it I'm going to try and do it for next week for your uh, your brother there. Um, but uh, I'll do California Blue though just for this week for you because I know you like this one. Um, if I can remember how to play it. <laughs> Bit of Roy Orbison. Um, where's he gone? Where has he gone? There he is. Bit of Roy Orbison. This is California Blue.
was a bit loud. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Beautiful song, isn't it? It's, uh... <laughs> oh, Stuart, bit of Billy Fury, absolutely. As is you. Bit of Billy Fury, do you really love me too? Dedicating this to a few people. <laughs>
A couple of great, great cliff tracks, as I mentioned earlier on, from that uh, that wonderful period, wasn't it? It was uh, the very, very early songs, um, that 50s, 60s period. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to do this one for my good friend Mr Watts. This is a bit of...
the go. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant song. Bit of cosy there. Dedicated to Kuss and, of course, Angie. But uh, brilliant, brilliant song. Anyway, what else am I going to do? Have a look. Oh, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that right now. Bit of Riders in the Sky.
there we go. Fabulous bit of albatross there. And uh, oh, I haven't done a lot of these uh, songs, but I uh, can't believe where the time's gone. It's nearly 11 o'clock. Incredible. But uh, right, let's have a look. What have I got? Let's, yeah, let's do that one. Someone asked for this earlier, and uh, I, I never get normally get a chance to do this one, so uh, it's another Cliff one. So if you're a Cliff fan, excellent. If you're not, then <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit of oh, I could easily fall in love with you. But uh, right, um, where's it gone? Someone did ask for this again earlier, but uh, I've got to remind myself where it is because it's another one I've never ever learned properly. <laughs> but a uh, bit of UB40 and a bit of Kingston Town.
There we go, a little bit of Kingston Town. Great, uh, bit of a feel good factor song, that bit of UB40. But, uh, oh, I've got, uh, can you all hear me yet? Yes, I did switch the mic back on. <laughs> oh, oh, Carol, that's a brilliant song, isn't it? I'll tell you, yeah, go on then, I'll tell you what, I'll do that one. I'll do that one for you right now. I know you like that one, so. Uh, another one I really should have learned off by heart by now. But so that I'm gonna keep looking for the tabs, but never mind. Ah, there it is. I want you all to join in on the middle part for this one, please. So I don't have to sing it on my own. <laughs> But here we go. Carol there, but uh, brilliant song. Uh, let's have a quick look. What else have I got? Um, yes, I think it's that time already. It's incredible, isn't it? It's gone so so quick. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, yes, I think it's going to be uh, the last song now, unfortunately, but. Uh, Thank you very much for everyone for joining me tonight again for week four of 13, I think. Um, we'll do it week 14 next week. And then uh, I'm gonna take a bit of a break, but uh, there we go. Uh, oh, Cliff, um, preference for tremolo arm, um, screw in, to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you have, please like, CDs, stuff. Some of the tabs I've, for all the songs I've played tonight, a lot of them are on my website as well, if anyone's interested. Um, it's been an absolute privilege, pleasure. As I mentioned before, I couldn't get through, uh, I couldn't have got through all this lockdown and stuff without all of you, so uh, thank you very much. It is appreciated. But uh, I'll leave you with this one.
Oh, more, more. All right, all right, I'll do one more. More, more. I know, I've said I'll do one more. It's okay. More, more, more. Stop twisting my arm, it hurts. <laughs> this is the last one, definitely. Stay safe all, take care, look after each other, and uh, enjoy it.